Hello and welcome to TL Physics and today I am going to talk about moles and number of molecules. So this is more of a chemistry part but it's really really important not only for this but if you do radioactivity as well. So I want to talk about this idea of moles and number of molecules. So moles is a base SI unit, it's a really important one and a guy called Avogadro helped with this. So what it is, number of moles is basically a universal amount of some amount of stuff. So how Avogadro did it, he used carbon-12. So carbon-12 has six protons and six neutrons and has an atomic mass number of 12. He then got 12 grams of the stuff and we knew a little bit more about atomic radii at that point and he estimated how many atoms of carbon was in carbon-12 or 12 grams of carbon-12. So one mole of carbon-12 is 12 grams. They then did some history pokery, it worked out the atomic radii and then worked out how many atoms the guy called Avogadro and he worked out this here, that in one mole of anything, so in one mole of carbon-12, in one mole of CO2, there is always this number. And this number is on your data sheet. Carbon 12. There is, where's Avogadro's constant? Avogadro's constant, uh, 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms. Okay, so if I had a different amount, so let's say I had 15 grams of carbon-12. That equals, so if one mole is 12, 15 divided by 12, I have 1.25 mole of carbon-12. This means I have 1.25 times by this thing called Avogadro's constant, which is 1.25 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23. In my 15, oops, in my 15 grams of carbon-12, I have got 1.25 moles, and I know that this is what I've got here, okay? So you can use these numbers. If you know the atomic number here, carbon-12, you know that one mole is the atomic mass number in grams. If you then know here, you can work out the number of moles. I think you may have done this in chemistry, that the number of moles, or little n, is the mass that you have over the molar mass. Okay? And this molar mass here is that number there, is the atomic mass number. So exactly what I did there, I had 15 grams. So 15 divided by 12 was 1.25 moles and then I times that by Avogadro's constant to get the number of atoms. Now let's say I had something different. Let's say I had carbon dioxide. So I've got carbon dioxide, CO2. I know carbon is C12 and oxygen is oxygen 16. Okay, so in this molecule here, I've got one carbon and two oxygens. So for one molecule, of CO2, that's going to be one carbon plus an oxygen plus an oxygen. So in total, my molar mass is going to be 12 plus 16 plus 16. So 16 plus 16 is 32, plus 12, 40, 34, uh, 34, 44. So that's how many grams one mole of CO2 is. So let's say I had 100 grams of CO2 and I want to know how many molecules of it I have. So let's find out how many moles I have first. 100 divided by 44. This will give me the number of moles I have. And that's going to be 2.27 moles. And I can times this by Avogadro's constant. 
to work out how many molecules of CO2 I have. So this times by 6.02 times 10 to the 23 is 1.37 times 10 to the 24 molecules of CO2. Okay. So what I'm doing here is finding out how many moles, how much it mass is one mole of CO2. Okay. And in that, I can work out how many molecules, so this is how many molecules of CO2. Okay. I then know a little bit more information. I know since in one molecule of CO2, I have one carbon and two oxygen. I know that I have that many, okay, since they're how many molecules I have, for every one molecule of carbon, I have one atom, uh, one carbon dioxide, I have one atom of carbon. I know that's how much carbon I have. I know, <clears throat> since I have two oxygens, since that's how many molecules I have, and for every one molecule I have, there'll be two molecules of oxygen. If I double that, that will give me how many molecule, how many atoms of oxygen I have. So I know that I've got 1.37 times 10 to the 24 carbons, okay? And if I times that by two, 2.74 2 times 10 to the 24 oxygens, okay? So that there is the idea between moles, Avogadro's, and the number of molecules there.